From Hallis Hall, previewing the Chicago Bears versus the Dallas Cowboys, I'm Kevin Fishbane. He's Arthur Arkish, Thursday Night Football. And Arthur, the big talk this week was this run-pass balance, which I think for the Bears, they didn't care as much about it when they were winning. But when they're, they're not playing well and the offense is not playing up to its standards and they're only running the ball eight times in one game like they did on Thanksgiving, it's a big deal. And you wrote this week that the Cowboys are doing what the Bears maybe should have should look at. They finally committed to the run, and it's worked out very well for them. Yeah, it has. I mean, they come in eight and four, one of the most pass-happy teams in football over the past three seasons, and they have fully committed to the run. They've done what the Bears have said they want to you know, do, and they're making every attempt to do. Well, DeMarco Murray is the uh, NFL rushing leader, and he's doing it by a wide margin in terms of attempts. They've got three first-rounders along the offensive line. That is a really good way to cover up a defense that uh, is really pretty average, and a, and a quarterback who's had his share of uh, you know uh, health issues as well as in the past and turnover issues as well. Yeah, Murray's so good when he gets outside the tackles and gets in open space. The Bears' defensive ends, outside linebackers, really going to have to set the edge against him. On the other side of the football, when you look at that Bears offense that struggled so much, they're going to face a Cowboys defense that's better this year. You know, they're not top of the league, but they're definitely better than as, how bad they were last year. Remember, just all about almost exactly a year ago, Josh McCown torched them. You know, what do you expect to see in that matchup, and what should the Bears kind of look for from that Cowboys defense? They're better, but they're still very much exploitable. Have given up 61 combined points over the past two weeks. They've been giving up a lot of long drives. That's Rod Marinelli's sort of formula, but you got to try and take it away along the way. They haven't been able to do that. The result has been a lot of points. They also gave up a season-high 250-something rushing yards last week. So I think, uh, given the timing of the Cowboys, uh, you know, magnifying the Bears' imbalance, they know what they need to do. They know there's an opportunity there. I think Matt Forte, especially getting him out on the edges where you can kind of expose Rolando McClain's sideline the sideline speed or lack thereof. He's been very good, but not getting to the perimeter. Mm -hmm. They'll also see Henry Melton on the other side of the ball, another former Bear coming to Soldier Field uh, this year. And Arthur, this Bears team has been so hard to figure out all year. You just don't know where you're going to get game in and game out from them. And when you look at this game, you look at the Cowboys very much in the playoff hunt, the Bears very much on the outside looking in. I, I think when it comes to motivation and what you're playing for, the Cowboys have a lot more to play for, but does this Bears team finally show up against the defense that, as you said, you could take advantage of? I don't think they're going to get embarrassed, but I just think that the Cowboys need this one more. I think that Tony Romo and Des Bryant scares me. If you look at what's happened to the Bears' past defense recently, I think they'll find a way to contain DeMarco Murray, but I just think one too many plays uh, and they get into that secondary a little bit, the Bears come up a little short. Yeah, we'll see if it turns into a shootout, which last year's game was, but the Bears haven't shown this year they can keep up in some of those shootouts. For Arthur, I'm Kevin. For all the best coverage of the Bears-Cowboys game, be sure to stick here to chicagofootball.com. 